so today I look absolutely crazy. I'm actually packing and getting ready so we can go to the airport for Thanksgiving. By the time you see this, it will already uh, be past Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had an amazing one. I look crazy. I still need to like finish getting ready. But I wanted to film this intro really quickly um, before we head out to go to Texas. So I did a little DIY project for my bridesmaids and they are these bride bozo boxes. I really wanted to share this with you guys because I do have a bridesmaids series or like a wedding series. I really love doing DIYs. So I threw that together, super easy, super quick. It's really pretty, it's Pinterest based, so very Pinterest inspired. And I loved picking everything everything out for my girls. So I am just going to show you how I threw together the boxes, why I chose what I did, and I will make sure everything is linked below. So if you wanna purchase the same items or something very similar, then you can. But anyways, let's get into the video. Hey guys, so I am sorry if this lighting isn't great. I'm actually filming this right before we head to the airport for Thanksgiving, and by the time you see this, Thanksgiving will have passed. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you had a great one. So for today, I'm going to be showing you everything that I got for our bridesmaids, and I'm going to show you how I put together this really cute box that I'm going to be giving to my bridesmaids. I'm so excited. I'm gonna tell you where I got all of the items from and uh, roughly how much they cost. Most of the girls don't know that I'm asking them, so it's okay to post this, totally fine. I looked everywhere for photo boxes and just really cute boxes that I could have with like ribbon and stuff like that. And these are the ones that really stood out to me. So we went to Michael's and we went to the photo box section and I found this really cute polka dotted one for my maid of honor to make her stand out a little more. And then we got white plain ones for the rest of the girls. So in total, I'm having five bridesmaids and that is the number I'm sticking with. I'm not adding more or like taking away any unless I magically find a best friend here. Then girl, future best friend, you can be in my bridal party. But other than that, five girls. I think it's a really good number to at least start with. So the first thing that we went and grabbed um, from Michael's is a Celebrate It paper shred. Now I call these worms and my fiance calls them caterpillars because they move like caterpillars. So let me know in the description box what you call them. But we picked up five of these pink ones and then I have a little box over here of black ones. I thought I could add like a little bit of death and death. Yeah, okay, <laughs> depth and dimension. Um, and then we picked up a couple of these little ribbon um, rolls and they're pink. So they kind of match the filler, which I thought was really pretty. I also have these macaron trinket boxes. Now, these did come from the dollar store and I bought all of them for myself. I wasn't planning on using them for these boxes, but macarons are my signature thing and I thought they'd be super cute. They match the colors of Rainbow Row. And even though I wanted them for myself, you know what? I'm just gonna give back and the girls can have them and use them and I will pay the $10 instead of a dollar it was to buy them um, to get myself some, totally fine. I also went to TJ Maxx and picked up this uh, really cute thing of macarons. They're champagne flavored. If you have like a winter wedding, you can do like eggnog or peppermint, anything. They actually have this like giant, um, like 20 macaron box at Home Goods right now. So you should definitely check that out. But I got champagne because I thought it was perfect. And again, macarons, delicious. Um, usually these run between five to ten dollars and then I also got these really cute pencils They have motivational sayings on them like make a plan on point looking sharp get it together There's a ton of these also Rainbow row colors and cheaper than the nail polish that I was gonna get the last thing is I made this really cute box So this is like a mock one, but this is for my maid of honor. It is a gorgeous a bracelet. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to open this because I it took a while to get this ribbon back on <laughs> after making sure it was okay. But her and I will have matching bracelets and I absolutely love it. I love Kate Speed and I knew that I had to add something from her collection to my maid of honor box. So that is why I chose the item that I did and I really think she's gonna love it. So for all of the bridesmaids, I actually asked them questions a little earlier in the year about what color they would prefer and I gave them options based on these macarons. Now they're not absolutely perfect, but 
This person that I'm working on right now wanted purple, so I am just putting in this purple one. So these just open up like this. They're really pretty. You could put rings or like really anything in there. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my box and I'm just gonna start putting in the filler paper, kind of like dropping it in like this so that it's nice and fluffy. So now that we have the filler in there, we're just going to place in our items. So you could just take your item and kind of sit it like so. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because you know what? You DIY'd this and you did good. So it can look however you want it to look, right? Right. All right, so I'm just gonna lay the pencil down there and then I'm gonna lay in the macarons like so. And that looks pretty cute, but then an added thing is I have little cards. So I'm just gonna write on that really quickly and place that in the box as well. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I did get these little cards in my wedding planner. So I just wrote a really cute message in it and it is asking if the person wants to be my bridesmaid. So I'm gonna tuck this in the envelope and that is it. Okay, now for this step, basically what I did was just wrap the ribbon around and tied a little knot and then I came up top here and made sure that this match and I'm just going to be tying a really nice bow. Okay guys, and that is it. This is all I did to complete my bride puzzle box. I think it looks really pretty. I love how delicate this is. And then I'm just going to slide the card underneath like so and give it to my girls. And just really quickly, I wanted to show you guys how the rest of the boxes came out. I think these are super cute. I love how the black and pink go really well together. I just put their cards on the side. I'm going to be using these little bubble wrap things right here to put on top so that when they're shipped, especially this one, they don't get like tossed around and nothing gets broken. Yeah, so that is it for this video. I really hope you loved it. I will definitely try to link everything in the description box below. I look crazy. I showered, but I haven't changed yet or packed to go to the airport. So I'm gonna go so that we can go to Austin, Texas and spend time with our family for Thanksgiving. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it lets me know what content you want to see. All right, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next video. Bye!